Design and Analysis of Intake Manifold of Single Cylinder Engine Sahil WAHI1, SOG SINGH21 Department of Mechanical Engineering. Abstract The performance of an internal combustion engine is highly determined by the inlet air conditions and air fuel ratio. This paper shall discuss about the role of intake manifold in governing the inlet conditions during the air suction. The design of intake manifold optimization of parameters of design, changing the inlet conditions and predicting the final results. The design and optimization include qualitative use of ANSI fluent for the simulation purpose and predicting the flow properties. One introduction intake manifold is a component of engine which governs the inlet air flow conditions of the engine. Air enters through the intake manifold comprising of different components and then through a throttle body. In gasoline engines, it enters the engine during the suction stroke. The amount of air entering the engine greatly determines its performance, including its volumetric efficiency, brake mean effective pressure, horsepower, and specific air fuel consumption. 1.1 Various components of the intake manifold The various component of intake manifold includes 1.1.1 Diffuser The diffuser or restrictor is the nozzle which is used to accelerate and decelerate the flow of incoming air. The design parameters of diffuser includes the inlet angle, the outlet angle, throat area, inlet area, and outlet area. 1.1.2 Plenum Plenum is body that stores the air coming from the diffuser and supply it to the runner. According to the considerations the main designing parameters of the plenum are its volume and shape. The volume of the plenum is usually taken between the range of 2 to 2.5 times the volume of the cylinder. The shape of the plenum is generally of four types. Rectangular shape. Circular shape. Curved shape. Elliptical shape. 2.2.1800 cubic centimeters of plenum volume. 1.13 runner. The final component of the manifold is the runner. The basic function of the runner is to resonate the airflow before entering the engine. Resonating here means that the maximum airflow occurs inside the engine when the intake valve opens. The resonance is based on Helmont's resonating theory discussed later. The design optimization of the runner include the design of the length of runner and its diameter. The length optimization is based on Helmont's equation. The diameter optimization on several other factors discussed later. 2 Analysis 2.1 Design of diffuser of the manifold, the inlet, outlet, and throat diameter are fixed and optimization include change in nozzle and diffuser angle. Various nozzle and diffuser angle are used for optimization. Inlet diameter, 28 mm. Throat diameter, 19.5 mm. Experiment specification. Turbulence model used, large eddy simulation. Turbulence intensity, 5%. Inlet temperature, 300 K. Inlet pressure, 100,000 N backslash M2. 2.1.21406 diffuser nozzle angle. Inlet velocity. Maximum Mach number. Mass flow rate, kg slash s. Outlet velocity. Inlet velocity. Maximum Mach number. Mass flow rate, kg slash s. Outlet velocity. Inlet velocity. Maximum Mach number. Mass flow rate. Kg slash S. Outlet. 10. 0 0.058. 0 0.955. 13. 15. 0 0.087. 1.4335. 19. 20. 0 0.115. 1.912. 26.5. 22. 0 0.128. 2.104. 27.5 25 0 0.145 2.391 31 From the experimental validation the pair of 12050 is used to obtain maximum mass flow rate and outlet velocity as seen from TABLE1 Hence final nozzle parameters are converging angle 50 diverging angle 120 throat diameter 19.5 mm inlet diameter 28 mm. Outlet diameter, 48 mm. 2.2 Design optimization of plenum of manifold. The design optimization include the optimization of the shape and volume of plenum. Three cases are considered first at 800 cubic centimeters of plenum volume, followed by 600 cubic centimeters and 1000 cubic centimeters of plenum volume. A. Rectangular plenum. The mass flow rate and final velocity are calculated for different inlet velocities. A bend is introduced in the manifold design for the design and assembly considerations the bend angle is 300 which causes a certain loss in momentum in the bend and hence less bend angle is provided in the design. 
From the above simulations it can be seen that at low velocities the curved plenum is less efficient as compared to other shape and as the velocity increases the mass flow rate increases and then decreases due to losses in the manifold hence curved plenum is most efficient as vehicle runs at average speed of 25 m s as compared to other shapes, as shown in TABLE9, as percentage increase in volumetric efficiency is highest. Dot vol equals volumetric efficiency. M equals mass flow rate of air. NR equals number of crankship rotation for a cycle. Dot A equals density of air. NE equals engine RPM. VD equals displacement volume. Dot vol equals asterisk. Since all the other factors in above relation are constant hence it can said that the volumetric efficiency is directly proportional to the mass flow rate of air entering the cylinder. 2.2.21000 cubic centimeters plenum volume. Now in the second iteration the volume of plenum is increased to 1000 cubic centimeters and volumetric efficiency and mass flow rate are calculated for different plenum shapes. The basic design remains same only difference between the manifold is the volume of the plenum. From the above graphs it can be seen that mean mass flow rate is maximum at 600 cubic centimeters of plenum volume followed by 800 cubic centimeters and then 1000 cubic centimeters curved plenum is most suitable plenum type of plenum for lower volume of plenum at all velocities and elliptical plenum is most unsuitable type of plenum as mean mass flow rate is minimum for elliptical plenum at all volumes. The performance of curved plenum decreases drastically as volume increases to 1000 cubic centimeters at all velocities. Hence volume of plenum should be between 600 cubic centimeters to 800 cubic centimeters and curved plenum is most suitable plenum shape. 2.3 Runner Design Optimization 2.4.1 Optimization of Length of Runner Length of runner is decided based on resonance theory that is the peak pressure wave of air enters when the intake valve opens. Let us assume KTM 390 engine, the inlet temperature is 30C therefore calculating the speed of sound at 30C. C equals V. R equals gas constant. Calculating the value of speed of sound we get C equals 349 m slash s. Peak RPM of engine is 9000 RPM in RPs equals 9000 slash 60. Intake value is open for 2880 of 720. Time taken for complete revolution equals 60 slash 9000. Equals 0 0.006. Intake valve remain closed for 4320 which is 432 slash 720 equals 1.2 revolutions. Time it takes between when the valve closes and it open again equals 1.2 asterisk 0.006 equals 0.0072 SEC. Distance covered by sound in the time equals 0.0096 asterisk 349 equals 3.34 m. Length of the runner equals 1.92 m. Since physically 1.92 m length of runner cannot be assembled so now according to resonance. Theory the peak pressure wave occur at 2 n harmonic. ACC to Helmont's resonance theory. According to harmonic the length of runner at third harmonic is 0 0.20. Since from FIG 5-2 it can be seen that runner length varies with RPM so length of runner can be taken as length at 6000 RPM because the curve began to flatten at 6000 RPM and variation is less after 6000 RPM. Length of runner is equals 34 cm. Diameter, cm, equals V. Generally the diameter the is diameter of throttle body in the engine inlet in our case it is 4.9 cm. 3. Dot conclusion From the above analysis it can be shown that the effect of nozzle diffuser, the plenum, and the runner have important role in improving the performance of the intake manifold and from the analysis it can be concluded that Diameter of nozzle entry equals 28 mm. Throat diameter of nozzle equals 19.5 mm. Outlet diameter of nozzle equals 48 mm. Nozzle angle equals 50. Diffuser angle equals 12. Plenum shape equals curved plenum. Plenum volume equals between 600 to 800 cubic centimeters. Runner length equals 34 cm. Runner diameter equals 4.9 cm.